Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. It has been a hot minute since we have been out here. With you guys, anyways, we've been out here an awful lot for the last month, uh, but haven't really been filming because uh, number one, it's been super hot, and uh, when you're hot and sweaty, you just don't look good or feel like uh, filming. And uh, speaking of being hot and sweaty, this thing right here, that's a that's a 50 gallon rain barrel, and I have it set up just on a garden hose with an on-off at the end of it, and uh, I fill that with a transfer tank. Um, 300 gallon IBC tote that I put on the back of my truck and I can go fill it up in town or my neighbors over here have been really nice letting me fill it up there but anyways I've been filling up our outdoor shower and uh, that has been a lifesaver during uh, the last month so we have been uh, working on the boathouse and uh, that'll be uh, probably the next episode that comes out after this um, but I want to take the opportunity while uh, the weather is nice. It's only like 82 today. And so uh, it's not terribly, terribly, terribly hot. I wanna take the opportunity to uh, give you guys an update on everything that's going on around here. So, and, and we got a new animal. You got a new animal? Yeah. You wanna tell them what it is? A donkey. Ah, she ruined the surprise. We got a donkey. Here she is. So this is Daisy. Can you say hi, Maggie? Hi. Say hi, Daisy. She wants you to pet her. Yeah. Hey, Hickory. How you doing, buddy? You doing good? So, Daisy is a uh, miniature donkey, and uh, she is going to live with our goats, and she will be our uh, livestock guardian. So she has uh, settled in quite nicely. Um, she's, you know, basically adopted herself into the family. And uh, yeah, she uh, has trained to the bucket already for the most part. She is very young. She's only like uh, four or five months old now, maybe six. And uh, so she does get a wild hair and takes off running every once in a while. That's why we keep the lead rope around. But uh, for the most part, she's doing great. So, here's our meat birds, our brommets. These are all roosters. And uh, we are currently using their uh, field tractor and their uh, Premier One fencing netting and moving them behind the goats. And they are, uh, sorry, walked into a cobweb there. They are uh, cleaning the ground. They're going through and looking for bugs and ticks and everything else. Yes, and I will skip the herb, Ben. I understand. We, uh, gardening happens, okay? Weeds happen. Stuff happens. So um, for those of you who have been with us for a really long time... Hi, honey. Hi. Um, this was the first thing that we planted here. So we have our apple and cherry trees. They are actually doing great. Um, we do need to remulch this already. That's just what happens when it's 100 degrees for... Uh, four weeks straight with no rain things just break down so quickly but we have blueberries and elderberries and i don't think we've lost a single plant on this bank no elderberries yeah. we don't have elderberries no we have goji berries goji berries yeah. i apologize to you guys goji berries so uh, but let's step into katie's outdoor garden ready ready bam those are peppers yep Okay, well, what kind and what are you going to do with them? Well, these are jalapenos. Okay. And I like to eat lots of jalapenos. Yeah, she eats them from <laughs> so, the can. So I'm going to can them, plus they also the make some Mexican hot carrots that also need jalapenos. So we have, I don't know how many I have them out here. Yeah. I think I have like 10 or 11 here, and then there's more in the greenhouse. Okay, and then what are these peppers? I think those are bell peppers. Okay. Yeah. Look at them. Um, I think they like banana peppers. Okay. Very nice. And then we have, I forget the variety, but it's a type of paste tomato. Paste? 
And then these, well, and then more herbs up front here. Okay. But then these are uh, atomic tomatoes. Okay. Yeah, so we uh, we have quite a few people on Instagram that follow along with our antics and business and stuff. And so... With our uh, shenanigans. With our shenanigans. And so there's, you know, a decent amount of people in the area that have mentioned that they have all the stuff for canning and they want to learn how to can, but they're afraid to start. And so there's a, a few people, you know, in that category. Then there's some people that have can before and then there's, you know, some experience. So we're also looking at it as a fellowship opportunity okay. too. And then everyone can bring their kids and it'll probably still be hot. So we're going to go swim in the creek and okay. do that. But yeah, we're going to can some tomatoes. That's and when are we doing that? I think it's the 28th of July. It's a Thursday. July 28th. So like three weeks. <clears throat> and I will be filming it. Yeah. And, and we're I... just going to do diced tomatoes. We figured tomatoes was a good place to start because you can there's do so a many lot. things you do with tomatoes. Yeah. And if you get the basic of diced down, then you can do all the other stuff that uh, okay. comes with tomatoes. So, so. Uh, cucumbers on the end here. Well, real quick. Oh. So look forward to that, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so that you will uh, get a pop up when that happens, I guess. Click the bell so you get the notifications whenever they right. come through. All the YouTube stuff that you should do if you love the channel. <laughs> So thumbs up and all that good stuff. And then share this with your friends. If you have friends that are into homesteading and uh, canning, preserving, I don't know, just anything, self-sufficiency, you know? Yeah, so, we're doing what we can. We're doing what we can. So, okay, back to it. Squash? Uh, no, those are cucumbers. See, this is why she's the gardener and I'm the builder. These are not squash, they're cucumbers. Yes. Okay. And we're just going to let them um, drape that that over the land. Is squash. Yes, Thank that's you, baby. Correct. That's squash. Uh, more tomatoes. More tomatoes. These are atomic, you said? Yeah, these little guys. There might be some more. Yeah, see at the end, there's some more of the paste ones. Yeah. Sorry. I had a bunch of them that I had started and I didn't label them, which is fine because it, it doesn't bother Who cares? me. Uh, well, hold on a second. Excuse me, Mr. Tomato. Uh, do you care that there's atomic tomatoes right there? No, no? Okay. See? They don't care. Hey, right, Gardening doesn't herbs. have to be perfect. We didn't do a lot of... So these are just bush beans. Bush beans? We didn't do a lot this year because I well, still you, have a bunch of You tried, of though, didn't you? Well... You tried... No, sugar this, snap peas is what you tried. Yeah, something was munching those in the greenhouse. I had this been filled with bush beans. And with this heat we've been having, they've actually kind of... They're looking much better now, but they were really struggling. Right. For... A while. Right. So Sorry, we have basil. Yeah, lots of basil. Uh huh. What is this? Rosemary? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then the squash is doing great. Yeah, that's great. So uh yeah, we have patty pans which we love to grill. And uh, there's a bunch coming in here. Yep, and we do love to grill. And See? It's right there. Yeah. And then yeah, here that one too. There's Katie's uh new favorite toy. She got a Camp Chef Pro 16, yeah, and I believe... Yeah, that's actually what we're going to use to can. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, and then this is zucchini. And we it like... Is. We yes. like to... We and, like and then, to I don't know if uh, you guys have seen it, but we got the footings done for the barn shop building. Um, we were finally able to wrap wrap that up. Um, so, but we are we are pausing on this project for now in order for us to uh, get the boathouse done so that we can uh, move on to the property. So show, show them the blueberries. Oh yeah, so blueberries are booming. Yeah, we've been... We've been eating them. Yeah. We've been snacking on them. We have a bunch of sweet potatoes in those red bins. Those red bins right, right there? Yeah. Those are all sweet potatoes? Yep. And our fruit trees are doing well. They have, what is this, rust spot? Yeah. And uh, it's just from being around cedars. Yeah, but unless, you know, here There's a bulb on in this. our area, there's cedars everywhere. And I, I think unless you're like, it's like over a mile away from any cedar. It's right. something ridiculous right. that you couldn't do. But here. it doesn't actually like hurt them. Um, I mean, like it's not going to kill them unless it overwhelms them. Right, so yeah. So we're, we're not doing anything uh -huh. for it right now. I know there's a butterfly. It's well, beautiful. I've been researching nematodes. Okay. Uh... 
which you add to water and you can spray and they actually help with Japanese beetles and supposedly rust. Okay. So I might actually order that because of our heat. We've had our our pest load is really high this year. Yep. So and this is a new addition everybody. The yeah. pond the pond got really um funky. Murky from well from all the runoff um we weren't able to get seed down on the banks around it and so we had a ton of runoff into it and it just you know it went from five foot deep to like two foot deep and it was just muddy murky nastiness so i've actually drained the pond and we just got done cleaning it out again so our backup water i was talking earlier about the transfer tank i'm able to uh fill this kind of tote and bring it over here and refill this one and katie can water out of this using solar panel yeah, Battery, and, uh, what was it called? A pusher pump? A transfer pump. A transfer pump. Yeah, it's incredible. So before we'd have to kind of, it took forever to water in here because we were watering off of the goat rain right. barrel. Which is up, which is, up which there. It's higher, but there is like absolutely no pressure. It was trickle. So, so you just have to move the hose every five minutes yeah. all day. But this is like a legit. It hose. creates about 35 yeah. PSI. So she can actually like go through and spray everything yeah, to water it. Really we exciting. have, we've started some irrigation in the raised beds, but um, it requires a pressure. I didn't realize this when we were putting it in. It requires about 35 to 40 pounds of pressure because um, it's drip tape, so it collapses. Um, Which we might so be able to use now off of this, maybe. We, we might be able it. to, but uh, anyways, year, we're just, going we're just getting by this year. Through yep. So strawberries are doing okay. They got hit real hard. And uh, Katie also had to transplant them um, in order to get weed fabric down. Well, so had we just, to might be a strong. Yeah, yeah, we just didn't want to weed. Um, tomatoes? Tomatoes are good. They do need to be pruned. I haven't pruned this side much. They went in a little later than the other side, so. Okay. Katie, you weeding in there? A little. A little. So, she does have flowers. They're blooming. Yeah, they're beautiful. Bye. So, but, and a lot of weeds. Look at these tomatoes. The tomatoes are good. Yeah, we have lots of tomatoes. They're beautiful. Which is good. That's kind of the main thing. That's going right now. Weeds then have potatoes in them. What is, does this have anything in them? Yeah, so I just, we're just kind of turning over the greenhouse. So I've we are. Planted, I've started planting fall crops actually in here. Okay, so this was all salad greens until about a week ago. Two weeks mm -hmm. maybe. Yep. So. Yep. Yep. So, but you can see these raised beds with the hugel. They've already sh shrunk like six inches. Yeah, so these, what we actually uh, just did is we planted potatoes in them. Yep. And then uh, we're going to wait for the plant, the potato plant to come up. Okay. And then we will we'll add more dirt and on right. this. Right. So it Mounding. Wait. Yeah. For sure. You uh, have some more peppers. More jalapenos. More jalapenos and then tomatoes. Yeah. Look at them all. Now, the one thing that we have found out um, with tomatoes in the greenhouse is that pests are way heavier in here. Hornworms especially. We get a lot more of them inside than we do outside. Yeah, so our outside tomatoes in the in the planter bins up. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know what those are. Uh, up there on the pad, and I see them. Um, I've only found like maybe two or three hornworms on those, and these we've been picking them pretty consistently. As we walk through and water, we just kind of look for poop or chomped leaves and pick them off and feed them to the chickens. Yep, yeah, and the chickens so cool. do love them, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, definitely definitely uh, can take it all right let's go walk out back sweetheart and look at the uh fruit trees oh, oh look. we fixed the gate fix, fix the heart gate there is a knot on the cedar uh yeah and who fixed that what? Mom. yeah mama oh, fixed it with a chainsaw yeah so impressed so impressed all right penny yeah so what what kind of flower is this katie a Sunflower, and oh. if you look way over here, you keep walking, see that one? It's gonna bloom eventually soon. Kind of. Oh, the tall one. oh yeah, these guys? Really tall yeah, oh, yeah. You've got sunflowers going Might be for sure. And now, this, this tree is doing okay. 
Yeah, we need to get the take things off of there. We do. I need to give these trees some love. The peach trees on the end are super happy. Yeah, watch out for the watermelons, guys. I wish we had some coming in. Look, little sugar babies. No, come here, come here. I'm, I'm coming. Oh my gosh. So demanding. Watermelons, yay! Peaches and pears. These are pears over here, and I think these three over here are peaches. These are peaches. Those guys are getting. They're super happy. But uh, Katie saw something the other day. It's on the end one. Yep. This is this is a weed, right? Yeah, I'm gonna come through it. Yeah. They do. They hurt. Yep. So. Yeah. This is all watermelon. Uh, no, this end's cantaloupe. This end is cantaloupe. Sweet. I love cantaloupe and watermelon. And there's the pond, by the way. See? I had to dig it back out. But that's okay. okay. You guys ready? Check this out. Get off of there. The Japanese beetle? Yeah. A peach. Hey, I have a peach growing. Yeah, Sparrow's Homestead. First, first peach. Oh, you're so. right. And then Katie started planting. We have corn up there, and what's your set? And uh, pumpkins. We did do a couple pumpkins of pumpkins and corn. Of course, the weeds have kind of taken over, even with the weed fabric down. And then but uh, corn. we talked about doing more corn, but <laughs> there's a ditch there. I keep falling in. So we talked about doing more corn, but we it's about just doing more corn. But we decided just... not to. We have a local. Mennonite family that grows it and we can get it from them for now and uh, so this year this year we're next gonna year I think we'll have higher focus on well next year hopefully we'll have more infrastructure done yeah you know so I mean just... like fit farmer Mike was talking about the other day the first oh first couple years are building yeah so, so. we obviously want to still grow quite a bit and we have a lot in and we canned a ton last year we so did can a ton one of our baskets yeah it has i wonder if that means something was trying to get to it so that is a mulberry tree and the deer actually got to it so we had to put a basket back around it but our grapes are still going strong yeah. no is it a flower just in one of these so yeah and that's kind of the end there's a uh right there's a little pawpaw and here's a little pawpaw tree. That one. That's a nectarine. Mm. I think that's a nectarine over there. No so, but that is kind of the end, end of this area. Um, the blackberries we planted earlier are all doing well. I think we've lost a few of them, but oh, uh, yeah. we one planted we like 60 of them. So, 50. Oh, all of our asparagus is coming up though. Oh yeah. We planted a hundred, oh, and strawberries. We planted a hundred bare root asparagus. Charlotte, yep, we and we did those the uh, the super ergonomic <laughs> method. <laughs> well, yeah, so we, uh, oh, oh yeah, the, and then we tossed a ton of sunflowers down here. Um, yeah, all we did was put them down on the ground. We already had a bunch of mulch and stuff. She's fine. Uh, down, so we, you know, spread out the little asparagus tentacle things. Uh -huh. And then we put some dirt on top of it and then put the hay. The, and then yeah, covered the them with straw. Yep, and we didn't dig. The no did... dig asparagus method. <laughs> and we did the same for the strawberries over here. Yeah, you know what? It works well. Which works we just great. had so many to get done. And we were doing these... so many other things. That... Strawberries. Yep. Yeah, the, so those go all the way down like three quarters of this lower bank. Now yep. it's another hundred Here's strawberries. Another one. Yep. So we probably won't get a lot from those this year, the new ones. Yeah. Because, uh... Well, they're uh, still uh, growing. Well, and they just went in in, like, May. Yep. And it's not very Ooh, nice. Okay, well, let's walk over, and I will show you guys what I've been working on for the last, I don't know, month? Really? Mm. So we're getting close. Yeah. We're getting close to being on the property. So, we're not going to go into too much detail because we are coming out with a uh, boathouse episode uh, pretty soon. But this this is what we've been working on for the last couple of weeks. Um, so, we've uh, waterproofed 
the exterior because we had some uh, leaks and uh, we'll show you some footage of that on the uh, boathouse episode and we have I have been uh, framing and sheeting the floor and then uh, furring out all the walls um, so that those are uh, ready for uh, insulation and drywall so and then the other thing important announcement um, we have decided two major things uh, the first one is that we are going to hook up to the grid um, that is for us a uh, well it was a hard decision but uh, it's also a convenience thing um, we really want to get over here and uh, we we want to go full off grid for ourselves and we probably will make our way there but doing all of your cooking cleaning laundry everything uh, the old-fashioned way takes a lot of time um, and we're both running businesses yeah. and uh, Katie you know full-time homeschools with the kids um, so keeping up with uh, laundry and dishes and everything else um, again the old-fashioned way is just a lot of work and so we are going to uh, put a uh, full uh, utility room in okay there it is putting a utility room in a connex so um, we are going to hook up to Como which is which is right there so utilities are already on the property um, they've already been run We've already, uh, we didn't pay for them. It came with the property. Um, so why not take advantage of what we have already here? So we are going to put a uh, bathroom, laundry, and uh, probably a kitchen in this thing or on it in some way. What we're thinking about doing is uh, we put it up on these big uh, mega blocks. They're uh, two foot by two foot by six foot. And uh, that will give me a raised foundation to uh, get underneath and run all my plumbing. And then eventually we'll put a skirt on this whole thing. What we think we're gonna do is put a uh, 12 foot porch on the front here. And that'll be like a screened in porch. We'll have fridge, freezer, uh, sink, counters, you know, food prep area, and uh, also dining area. Cause the boathouse is uh, tiny and we could you know, convert that into a, a multi-purpose tiny house, but the purpose of it was just a bunkhouse. It's just a place to sleep at night. So this this will help us to get on the property so that we can move on to uh, building our actual house. What do you think, Penny? She likes she you likes approve? the uh, DGE brought in. Yeah, she does. So, anyways, that is the uh, that is the big update. Thanks for going along with us, guys. And uh, we've got gardens going, we've got animals going. You can hear Mags back there um, crying for help because she's in desperate need of more attention. attention. So, but, uh, so this is what we're gonna be working on for the next couple of weeks here is the laundry room and uh, finishing up the boathouse. So the boathouse is going to get a uh, full facelift. Um, she's getting painted. She's getting all new interiors. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited. Yep. So thanks for going along with us, guys. May Yahweh will bless you. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye.